Greetings and once again, thank you for the opportunity to come to you today and spend a few moments in the Word of God and pray with you. We trust you're having a good week and the mercies of the Lord are abounding in your life. And even as he said that your cup overflows, remember that his word says, surely goodness and mercy will follow us each and every day of our lives. This week we are meditating on John 15 verses 1 through 8. And in John 15 verse number 4, the Lord Jesus said, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. So, as Jesus is expanding on this illustration of the wine, the wine press and the branches, and he is continuing to point to spiritual truth from this illustration. In verse 4, he's trying to get across to us the importance of us staying connected to him. He says, you abide in me and I abide in you. In other words, stay connected. Because the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. If you, you know, if you take the branch off of the vine and keep it by itself, obviously it's going to dry up. It's not going to be able to bear fruit. And that's what Jesus is pointing to. And then he says, in, in the same verse, he says, neither can you unless you abide in me. So the point here is this, that real fruitfulness, true fruitfulness in life, in ministry, in all that we do, comes out of this place of abiding in him, out of this place of relationship, staying connected to the Lord Jesus Christ and letting him work in us and through us, his life working through us. Now, we are free moral beings. We have capacity to do things. So it is possible that when we are taken off of the wine, as people, we could do a lot of things. But we must understand that's not the kind of work he wants us to do. And doing that kind or engaging in those kinds of activities is, as we will see in the next verse, doesn't amount to anything. What we must keep in mind and keep important to us is we want our works, we want our fruitfulness to come out of this place of abiding in Him. And if we fail to abide in Him, if we fail to stay connected to Him, if we fail to draw out of His life and His working in us, then whatever comes out means nothing. Whatever efforts we put in, it means nothing. So for us, it's so important to stay connected to the wine. He said, abide in me and I in you. Because without that connection, without that abiding, without that place of a living, vital relationship, everything would we do means nothing. How does this work out in everyday life? As you and I go about our activities, you know, whatever we are doing, but you may be a student, you may be a professional, uh, some of us may be engaged in Christian ministry. We may be doing different things in life. But we choose to dwell in that place of communion, in that place of intimacy, in that place of relationship with the Lord. And from that relationship, we conduct our activities. That is an intentional choice we make because He called us to do it. He said, you abide. You make the choice to abide in me. And let me abide in you. Let's do that in all that we are engaged in. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, teach us how to abide in you and you abide in us so that out of that place of relationship with you, every activity, every work, everything we engage in will flow. Teach us how to do that and to walk in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.